Welcome to the Vodacall Polycom end user training video. These videos are designed to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you have ever had, the Vodacall experience. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Vodacall Quick User Guide for your phone and the Vodacall Voicemail User Guide. If you did not receive them, you can always find them at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the quick user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like holding a call, transfer, conference, accessing voicemail, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that if not practiced, can have an effect on your customer and client experience when they are calling you. The key to your new phone is the soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone. These are the primary buttons that will allow you to access a multitude of one-touch features, and they will change depending on if you are idle, receiving a call, or on a call. The More key will grant you access to additional features not available on the present screen. Press it again, it will return you back to the main screen. So let's practice this together. But first, let's get our mailbox set up. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the Quick User Guide under Listen to a Voicemail. First, you'll press your Messages button. The system will then ask for a password, as it assumes you are calling from your own desk. Your default password is 123456, followed by the pound sign. You will then be prompted to change your password. Welcome to your Compilot voice portal. Please enter your passcode, then press the pound key. If you are not calling from your own phone, please press the star key. Before you can use your voice portal, you must change your passcode and record your personalized name. Please enter your new passcode, then press the pound key. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. Your new password should be between four and eight digits. In this case, we'll use 2580. Please enter your new passcode again, then press the pound key. To go back to the passcode has been changed successfully. Please start recording your personalized name after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Demo phone. Thank you. Your name has been recorded. If you are satisfied with your name recording, press the star key. To re you are now ready to use your voice portal. To access your voice mailbox, press 1. To record your name, press 3. To change, there are no new or saved messages in your mailbox. To change your mailbox busy greeting, press 2. To change your mailbox no answer greeting, press 3. To compose and send a new message, press 5. To go to the Compilot voice portal, press the star key. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. For all intents and purposes, your mailbox is set up. To place an internal call, either lift the handset or start dialing the extension number you are trying to call. Once it has been entered, hit the dial or send button. To end the call, either press the speakerphone button, place the handset down, or hit end call. To make an external call, simply start dialing the number to use the speakerphone, or you can lift the handset first to begin to dial. In this case, we'll use the speakerphone. I'm going to start dialing. You do not need to use a 9 or a 1 to make a phone call. You also have the ability, if you make a mistake, to use the back arrow keys to correct the numbers. Then press dial. In order to end the call, again press the speakerphone button, put down the handset, or press end the call. When a call rings into your phone, you have a few options. To answer the phone, simply lift the handset, or look to the screen and use one of the soft keys that are available to you. In this case, answer, reject, or forward. We'll hit answer or if you lift the handset. When complete, again, press end the call. To answer a second call, you will hear a beep in your ear, and the caller ID information will appear on the screen, along with the option to answer the call. First, 
Let's take our first call. While we're on that first call, if another call were to come in, we would hear the beep and we would see who the call's from. We can answer, reject, or forward. We'll answer that call. You'll now see that we have two calls active. The call that we're on, which is the second call that came in from demo user number one, and the call below it, which is on hold demo user number four. By answering the second call, the first call was immediately placed on hold. To toggle between the two calls, use your arrow keys and highlight the call which you wish to speak with. To toggle between the calls, I will hit resume and pull the call back. You'll now see demo user number four is at the top and the active call, and demo user number one is below it on hold. I could tell demo user number four I've been waiting for this call, end that call, and then resume my call with the second caller who called me. Let's do that one more time. To place a call on hold, when a call comes in, first we answer it, we have a few choices. We have a hard key here for hold. We also have a soft key up here. We can use either one. In this case, we'll put the call on hold this way, and we'll resume the call at the top. Or we can put the call on hold here, and resume the call down here. It makes no difference, both keys are interchangeable. And the call to hang up. We'll now review transferring calls. There are two major methods to transferring a call. There is a blind transfer and an assisted transfer. First, we'll do a blind transfer. The call comes in, we answer the call. We're now going to press the transfer key. There's a transfer soft key as well as a transfer hard key. We'll press transfer, we'll then press blind. By doing a blind transfer, you will pass the caller ID information through to the call. We dial, hit send, that call is now gone. The next time a call comes through, we'll do what's called an assisted transfer. Answer the call. An assisted transfer allows you to notify the caller of who it is that's on the phone and allows them to accept or reject the call, at which time you could then take the call back. Let's start by doing a call that goes through. We hit transfer. We dial the extension number that we wish to send the call through to. We hit send. That person answers the phone. We're now speaking to the person that we called. If we'd like to complete the transfer, we can either hang up the handset or press transfer and the call will go. That call is now passed through to the other party. In this example that we'll do, we'll do a call where the person says they do not want to take the call after being consulted and then we'll transfer the call to voicemail. So first we answer the call. They asked to speak with Jim, so we hit transfer. When Jim answers, we tell him who the call is, and he says he's not available to take that call at the moment. So we'll hit cancel. Cancel will get rid of Jim and bring us back to the original caller. We now hit the more key. We hit transfer to VM or transfer to voicemail, and we enter the extension number in of the person we want to transfer the call to and hit enter. Your call has been transferred. Thank you. That caller is now in Jim's voicemail. The last way to move a call through the organization is if you do not wish to transfer it, you can do something called parking. Parking is a way of globally holding a call across the organization instead of just sending the call directly to one person's extension. It gives you the ability to go find that person and let them know that they have a phone call and they can answer it from any phone. First, we'll answer the phone call. That call comes in. We're gonna park the call for Jim because we're not sure where he is. So we hit more, hit more again, Press the park key. It asks us what extension to park it to. We ask that you park calls to the person that the call is for, extension 301 in this case. Your call has been parked. Thank you. We now have the ability to go and find Jim wherever he is in the organization or page him and say you have a phone call. Jim can walk to any phone inside the organization, hit the more key, hit park retrieve, and dial his own extension number. Once he does that, it will pull the call back. When you're finished, press end the call. Let's start by making a conference call. First, we'll answer the call of the person who comes in. They ask if we can get extension 304 on the phone. So we hit more, we hit conference, we dial the extension number or phone number we're trying to reach. We're now talking to the second party. We hit more again, hit conference. And now you'll see both parties available, demo user 1 and demo user 4. If we hit the manage key, we're given a list of options to mute callers, 
hold callers, or remove callers from the conference. You do this by highlighting the call which you wish to apply those to. So if we wanted to far mute user one, we'd press this here. That call is now muted. We can now unmute that person. If we wanted to remove that user, we could highlight them and hit remove. When we're done, press end call. Let's talk about some of the keys on the phone. To the right is a circular dial pad. This accesses your directories. Your down arrow key accesses your missed calls. Your right arrow key accesses your placed calls. I'm hitting the home button twice to get back to the main screen. Your left button hits your received calls. And lastly, the up button hits your favorites or your directory. The first nine numbers you store in here will be stored on these remaining nine buttons on your phone for nine speed dials. Your directory will store up to 99 numbers. As you go through, you could find a call that you spoke to a few days ago. Maybe you remember the number that it came from. This is my missed call list. If I hit info, it will tell me a little bit more about the phone call. When I hit info, it also gives me the ability to save that phone number. Once I save it, it would appear in my favorites. As we move throughout the phone, we've already seen the home button. That will bring you to your menu and your settings and return you back to the main screen again. Below your dial button is your headset button. This will activate your headset. There's a jack on the bottom of the phone for your headset. Your speakerphone button will toggle your speakerphone on and off. Your mute button will mute your headset, your handset, or your speakerphone, depending on what you're using. As we move over to the other side, there's your transfer key, your mailbox key, and your hold key. At the bottom of the phone is your volume, which will control your ring volume when you're not on the phone. It will control your handset volume when you're on a handset, and it will control your speakerphone volume when you're on a speaker. Just below the front on the phone, there's a small hole. That is the microphone to your speakerphone. Please make note of where this is. Please do not put papers up against the bottom of it, as this can cause some problems with clarity. Now let's use some of the other features of the phone, such as forwarding. To forward a phone call, you can press your forwarding soft key, or access your menu, come over and hit forward, press one for always, and enter in your phone number. It will save the last phone number that you had in there. When you entered it in, press enable. Your calls are now forwarded. You'll be able to tell this because there'll be a small arrow key pointing off the handset to show you the calls are now forwarded. You'll also be able to see what the number is it's forwarded to. It'll toggle between the date and between the number forwarded. To turn that back off again, in this case, we'll press the forwarding soft key We'll press one for always, and then disable the fly handset. Your forwarding is now turned off. You can do the same thing with your do not disturb. You have a soft key. You also have the ability to come over and access your do not disturb here. Turn that on or off. Not all users are equipped with a do not disturb. So if yours does not work, please contact your administrator. Please be sure to watch this video before going live with your new phones or just review it on occasion to make sure that you understand how things work. Thank you.